Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And finally, we have a wheel on the channel. This is the Godway Tesla V2. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. Okay, so right away we want to start hardcore and Mar Mark will test the hill climb. I can't remember what the steepness here is, but let's try. Do it! <laughs> Easy! I'll make it really slow. Compare it to the Tesla. <laughs> Feels actually the same, like whoo. <laughs> The same level of difficulty on Nikola and Tesla, but maybe a bit easier on the Tesla, even though it's supposed to have less power. But I think the wheel is a bit smaller and it's for sure lighter, so easier enough. I'm too fast! The easiest wheel to climb. I'm too fast! By far. And uh, yeah, this is a nice commuter wheel. Uh, when it comes to like, when it comes to like the classification of this wheel, it's very similar to the um, Emotion V10. So it's a 16-inch wheel. The battery is around 1,020 watt hours. So prices are varying, but I think they're for around what, $1,200. So uh, it is a like. I would say premium or higher mid-size wheel. But I think the price is actually really good for the battery and the performance that uh, the Tesla has. Now, it has also a lot of equipment, so it has a pretty high um, trolley handle. Probably maximum is around 60 kilometers of range. What did you get, Mark? Now, I think it's 50 in winter, but in summer, I think it could be even 70. All right, so that, that's the range you'll get. The top speed is at 48 kilometers per hour, limited, as I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, and gradually, if you have a lower state of battery, naturally, you will go slower. So a big difference, for example, with this wheel in comparison to the Inmotion V10 is with the Inmotion V10, you can still go like 40 kilometers an hour. When you have 10% of here, you can go probably like 25. Now, the Tesla V2 has also a couple of new nice options. It has uh, the lift sensor, just easily located underneath here. It has, uh, of course, I think it had it before. It has uh, the USB charge port and the GX16 in it? Yeah, 16, no, 20, GX20 port. It's a 84 volt wheel. Um, and naturally you have also several modes of the light here. And you also have a light strip, which can show you different, maybe I can show which has <laughs> the mud, which has different settings 
and it can also show you the battery and now as usual I don't like this system that much in uh, Godway wheels because you can't have just one setting of the light and leave it like this each time you switch on or off the light it just changes but I think this is pretty nice visible in the night and there's also a setting which one is it for uh, the battery state this one there is another one with uh, stop stop light with stop light okay and this is the setting with a stop light but the side the light is all only on the side and it's probably the biggest gripe with the Galway Tesla V2 there is no brake light so that's why Mark also mounted this mount here and there is also a additional light which you can just purchase on AliExpress or whatever sadly the uh, Godway Nik uh, Nikola. The Godway Tesla doesn't have a rear light. Now, when it comes to just the, the wheel and the tire, the tire is a lot thinner than on the <laughs> Godway Nikola, meaning that um, it is not very like susceptible to uh, to unevenness in the surface. Like when you go on the street and you have this kind of bumps, it will just go straight. The Nikola or a 9 bot Z10 will just throw you off in every direction. But the other thing about it is that when you go faster or if you go slow, you have to lean more with the wheel to have the same um, like turning radius. Okay, go down. So um, the pedals are quite high. I mean, they're very similar to the, what the, we have there, the Galway MCM5, maybe a bit higher. Uh, but also uh, the front wheel has more clearance here to just cl clear curbs. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It's way better for off-road driving or just city commuting than the Godway uh, MCM5. Only the Nikola has a wide enough tire to go up here. Also underneath here there's more uh, ground clearance. Uh, when it comes to just the nimbleness it's a very nimble wheel uh, but if you go slower I actually can think and we can check later Mark uh, that I can make a smaller turning circle with the Galway Nikola than on the Tesla. On the Nikola. Without scratching the pedal. I'm going to try to myself on the... Uh, maybe it's... Maybe it's similar, I don't know, I, I can't see. But both of them are good. It is not a wide wheel, but uh, the V10 is for sure a thinner wheel. Uh, that's a thing to consider. You, he, Mark also installed the side pads, which are better than the stock side pads. The, he told me that the regular side pads are a bit hard. Um, now, this is not standard, 
<laughs> just uh, so to mention this. Uh, it has also speakers, and I would like to test the speakers. <laughs> there is Bogdan. <laughs> he always has to test out every uh, All right, let's play, let's play something. Zero, one, two, eight. I'll just select, uh, you know, my um, YouTube video, whatever, theme song. <coughs> Hi guys, and welcome to the wrong way. That's pretty loud. Today we are... Let me tell you more about the wrong way. Can I okay, I think these speakers are better than on the V10, because I remember the V10 to be a bit quieter and maybe a little less bass. But still uh, worse than the nine, uh, than the Nikola because Nikola has just you know huge speakers. But still, it's awesome that they are here and they're actually in this prime location. There's also a light here. It's uh, pretty cool. And the same thing is on the other side. And actually, it's not like symmetry because this one is here, and you can see that the other one is in the back. So they have. I think it's just a matter that they had to make the same side panel <laughs> for both sides. And they cheaped out on it and didn't make it symmetric, but you know, who cares <laughs> in the end. Anyway, so when it comes to acceleration, we tested it. It's uh, about the same acceleration as on the Galway Nikola. fast wheel it climbs really good and I think that definitely for the same price point it is better than the V10 and I drove the V10 for around 1200 kilometers because the, the pedals here are also tilted you have better grip they're also magnetic so you can even just put them there and flick them out that's really comfortable it's uh, also you know the, the size is nice you won't get any spray there's also this Additional, right? Additional. That's mine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it sprayed a little uh, as I could. But all in all, yeah, awesome wheel. Uh, this is a overview. I didn't come to see like all the small details and blah 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 about it. But if you're still here, leave a like on the video. See you soon.